Hi, I'm Alfred. Kasama ko ngayon si Kairus. Hey guys, kamusta? And today, we're gonna talk about a common power quality problem that causes a lot of issues for our customers. Gaya ng overheating, equipment malfunction, abnormal rotation and speed ng motors, decreased lifespan ng cable, sanhirin ito ng inaccurate metering, power losses, and marami pang ibang issues. Wow! Matinding power quality problem pala ito. I'm sure gusto nyong malaman kung ano. So stick around to find out what it is on this episode of Power, power Ideas! Ideas. So, this common power quality problem na sanhin ng maraming issues na nabanggit is called harmonics. To better understand harmonics, tignan natin tong power quality analyzer. Ito yung ideal na itsura ng power na gusto natin makita, a clean sine wave. At dito sa Pilipinas, yung frequency na yan ay 60 Hz. That's our nominal fundamental frequency. Pero kung may issues ka with harmonics, ibig sabihin, mahahaluan itong 60 Hz ng iba pang frequencies na multiples ng 60. So dahil 60 Hz ang nominal fundamental frequency natin, may papasok na 180 Hz, 300 Hz, 420 Hz, and so on. Ang resulta, nadidistort yung clean sine wave at naging ganito ang itsura. Pag ganyan ang itsura ng power sa system natin, nagiging cause na yan ng mga problema. Sa dami ng issues na nagmumula sa harmonics, you might be wondering, paano ako makakaiwas dito? Well, yung harmonics kasi pumapasok sa electrical system when you use nonlinear loads, like variable speed drives or inverters, welding machinery, fluorescent lighting, computers, or anything that converts AC power into DC power, which includes almost all modern electronic equipment. Dahil sa nature ng ating modern equipment, di natin may iwasan totally ang harmonics at ang distortion na dala nito. But, pwede natin itong bawasan. How? You can use line or load side reactors. Install harmonic filters. Increase transformer capacity. Use K-rated transformers. Or use large-sized cables. Tama si Alfred. I remember this one case Merong commercial customer na nakaka-experience ng dumadalas na elevator malfunction sa building nila. Nagiging erratic na ang operation. Bigla na lang tumitigil at natatrap yung tenant sa elevator. The customer reported this problem to Meralco because their elevator supplier could not figure out what was causing the brand new elevators to malfunction. So we conducted an investigation. Nag-set up kami ng power quality analyzers to identify what's causing the problem. Elevators demand a large amount of power. Kapag poor ang power quality, affected yung operations ng motor. Pwede madamage ang elevator control, which can cause damage to property o di kaya may injure yung mga sumasakay. So in cases like this na may history of malfunctions or operation issues, very critical na i-check ang power quality. After our power quality monitoring, nakita namin yung problema. Their electrical system's harmonic levels were high enough to cause frequent breakdowns. So we recommended installing power conditioning equipment para ma-minimize ang harmonic sa system. True enough, once na-install yung equipment, na-solve ang problema. Gumana na ng maayos ang kanilang mga elevators. All is well that ends well. And that's about all the time that we have for now. We hope you learned something about harmonics and the steps you can take to mitigate it. If you'd like to learn more about harmonics and other power quality issues, just download a free copy of our Power Quality Manual. You can find the link in the description below. Kung may power-related issues in your facility, we at Meralco can help you sort them out. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Kairos. And I'm Alfred. And, and this, this is Power Ideas. Ideas. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our latest uploads.